I'm Kyle, this is Move with Rhino. All right, so today we're gonna to show you how we use Film Convert in our workflow. Essentially, when you're shooting an S-Log, if you look at your camera, it's gonna be a really flat picture. So if you wanna preview what you're actually going to be filming after you edit it with your color grade, you can use a monitor like the Small HD. You can use Film Convert's plugin in Premiere and export a look that you can put on your monitor. So in real time when you're shooting, you can see what your grade looks like. Now Ed's gonna show you all the technical bits of how to do that later. I wanna show you the workflow. So I'm using my on-camera monitor to expose. I have my zebras, I have my focus peaking. You can do that on the small HD, but since I don't use this monitor all the time, I'm used to doing it on camera. But I use my, my monitor to actually preview what I'm looking at so I can help, it helps me set my exposure, make sure I don't underexpose, especially using S-Log. All right, I'm gonna get some shots with this LUT. We'll see what it looks like. going to try out a slightly different LUT that's cooler. We're down here by the river, we're going to get one shot here, one shot of Rainier in an open field. After that, I'm going to have Ed show you how to actually export these LUTs from Premiere in the Film Convert plugin so you can use them with your monitor. Check it out. What's up guys, it's Ed. So now I'm gonna show you how you actually get that LUT and put it into your small HD um, so you can preview your shot when you go out to shoot. So I have Premiere Pro open and here's my clip. It's already been color graded using Film Convert and if you wanna see how uh, we color grade our Rhino videos all the way from the raw footage to the full color graded footage, I'll drop a link, for a bit, uh, I'll drop a link in the description below for that video. Um, but other than that, I'm going to show you guys how to actually export the LUT. So if you look here, I have my fully color graded footage using Film Convert. And for this one, I use the KD P400 uh, Petra LUT. And I did a, color, a couple basic corrections. And if you look down here, I have um, the Generate 3D LUT option in the Effects Controls window. And here, you can choose anywhere from a 16 to a 64 point LUT. So for this purpose, I'm just going to do 16 point LUT. And then after that, you name your file. Um, you can name it anything you want. A cool tip is if you know uh, exactly what color grade you want for a specific shoot, you can name it uh, that name of the shoot. For the purpose of this video, I'll just name it the LUT, which is the KD P400 Petra. And after that, after I name the LUT, I'll just save it to my desktop. And here's the file. And this window right here is the SD card from our small HD. And all you have to do is drag the .cube file into your SD card. And there you have it, it's in there. And then you just take out the SD card, put it back into your small HD, and then when you go out to shoot next time, you can just, the LUT will be there and you can preview what your shot's gonna look like before it even goes into post. So like I said earlier, if you guys want a full video on how we color grade our footage, uh, we'll drop a, a link for that video down in the description. And if you don't have Film Convert yet, uh, we'll also drop a link for that in the description below. Other than that, thank you guys for watching uh, this week's episode of Move with Rhino. Please like the video, please share the video, and if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next week.